Hello everyone, this is Dana and today I'm going to be sharing the tutorial of how to make the embellishments of the teacup and salsa. This is one that I've made previously and I've shown this one already in a video. What will you need to make this? Let's put this over here. You will need a doily, any color you want. This is what I use. If you want to use other other materials, that's perfectly fine. I used uh, a die cut and I cut two of them and I put them back to back so it looks finished on both sides. A little strip to be able to hang it. A little strip of ribbon to hang it. A cup, a salsa, and a little piece of fabric. I glued this one down already. It's just a little circle of, of a fabric, but go through your scraps and whatever you have, you can use. This one that I used here is actually a piece of scrap. And you see after, sorry about that, after you cover it up, you barely see it. It just highlights a little bit, accentuates a little bit. And a spoon. So you'll need a couple of things to make this. Of course, you could change them out and put them whatever you want to use. Besides this, I used three different size flowers. And here you'll see an assortment of three different sizes. I used seed beads to have coming out of the cup like you see in this one. And I used smaller pearls on the spoon. In this case, I'm going to be using pink seed beads and white uh, tiny pearls on the spoon. Plus I used the seed beads coming out of the cup as you saw here. So instead of clear and white we'll be using pink today. I put a bow so we'll, you'll need a, a bow. I have a double bow you can use with whatever you prefer, whatever color you prefer. First thing is you will back up the piece of double cardstock to the doily because the doily alone you know it's bendable but with the cardstock it gets quite firm. And so when the saucer goes over, it's even firmer. So let's get this together. I hope to cover everything, but there might be a question. You could use any color doily, any color fabric that you would like to use. I found these soft. This is the natural color, the pink and the purple and the purple. But in a previous video a couple of months back when I made these, I actually painted them. So you can alter them as you wish. Have fun doing that. Okay, so this is nice already on here. And so it has a firmer backing. And then now I'm going to put the ribbon. And all I'm doing is holding the ribbon like this, like so, and I'm going to attach it up here. First I'm putting a little dab under there, and then a little bit here and here. Now I don't want it to stick out too much, it's just a little hanger to make it easier for whoever receives it to hang it up, like this one. The hanger is already on there, so they just hang it up. I put the cup on purpose facing down so that the little seed beads show coming out, but see inside the cup there's seed beads until they flow out. If I would put the cup facing up, then it wouldn't show the seed beads falling out, would it? That's the idea of the cup facing sideways, because this is how it would hang. And you see that that means the, the cup 
has the seed beads flowing out and the spoon has an angle to hang on to over here and it makes it sturdier and the message is highlighted that way it's not flat on the plate so these are just reasonings that I had to do it this particular way but you set it up the way you feel most comfortable okay this is already dry just gonna put a little more to the part that's attached to the doily to firm it and that should be good next step is the plate now I tried two different glitters I tried very because it brings four plates in a package so I was playing around with the others I'm gonna do one wholly with you but then the others I was playing around to see what the fine glitter would look like and this is what the fine glitter looks like and then I tried a little bit coarse glitter which is this size and this one happens to be Martha Stewart but there's other brands out there and this is what the coarse let me put them side to side so you can see this is what the coarse glitter looks like so you can choose which one you like more this is the coarse and this is the fine glitter it's just a preference and this one that's done already has the coarse one in it and it's just a once you decorate it it's just a little hint of it that you're going to be seeing you're not going to see that much of it but it gives it a little extra look there okay let me move these aside okay then you take this pretty eyelash trim and you can do it one of two ways I did it both ways and you choose the way you like to do it better I put this one on alone under here and when it sits on the doily it's gonna look like that or I put this one once I put the plate on then I just circled around the plate and glued it on and I think this way it shows more than looking at it this way what do you think or do you like it better that way so that's another choice you're gonna make if you like it better that way or this way I just look at when I'm looking at it I see like that this one shows more and that was done after the fact I attached the plate first and then I just circled I put a little glue in a little corner and circled around the plate and I found it shows a little bit better but you choose how you like it this is what it would look like this is what the two of them would look like sorry let me move this one out so that you're not looking at too many things at once see so that's another choice you make now let me put together the one I'm working on today since I saw that it looks better that way I'm going to actually attach it after the fact yes I'll put a little glue right here in the middle and a little bit does you know why because these plates don't really weigh anything and this also helps to hide perfectly the the tap if you put it later on then you're gonna have it hanging out of the back and I'm gonna show you in a minute as soon as this dries I'm just pressuring it down a little bit for it to dry right if you put it on later then you'll have it here showing and it doesn't it look neater like this so that's why I put it before and I think it's a perfect fit and there we go now you just look at it and you see how fluffy it is and very carefully you'll attach it so I'm gonna start over here in this little corner and I'm gonna put a little glue right there and then I'm just gonna twist it on little by little and I'm gonna go around and around and around you can stop right there or you could keep going this time I 
think I pulled it a little too tight. Let me just pull it out a little bit so we can see it better. Yeah, I pulled it too tight around. And there's plenty. It doesn't have to be tight. If it's a little loose, it shows better, right? Yeah, don't pull it tight. You see, I just did that. And what you do is it hides completely under the plate. So you don't want to do that. And once you finish wrapping it, little dab of glue where it ends. And push it in. And you should be good to go. Not going to stick my hand in there because <laughs> it's probably going to be too hard for me to touch it. And there goes that. So now, I'm going to, I put the, I took the one that's already dry now to continue so that I can leave this one to dry. This one's completely dry already. Now, we're going to work on the cup. And the cup is going to need seed beads. So all you do is tilt your cup. You know it's going to go, well, if you do it my way, it's going to go like this so that the handle's a little up in the air. It's going to go like this, so you're going to want the seed beads coming out of here. Sorry. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue from the bottom all the way to the top. And then I'm going to dip it inside the, the little seed beads. And you see how it makes that little, and then I'm, now that it's still hot, I just pushed it a little down to make it look a little flatter, as you can see. But it's a perfect fit. There you go. Really nice. See? Looks like it's flowing. Then I'm going to use a little bit bigger ones for the spoon once we attach the cup. So the cup's going to be like so. Let me just straighten this up. The cup's going to be like so with a little bit of a tilt. Not too much. A little bit of a tilt so it'll be like that. So let me put some glue. So much on here as over here. And let me put it down to dry. And let me hold it there a minute to dry. And if you look at this one, which is a little off the, seat, the camera, I'm not going to use the handle. What I'm going to use is actually the stand of the cup to hold up the spoon. But the handle's pretty, so I didn't want to make it flush with the bottom of the plate. I wanted it to show it a little bit. It, as soon as you feel it's steady, you can pick it up. Then I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom here and throw a little bit more of seed beads like if they poured out. It's just decoration. It's, you don't have to do that if you don't like it. I, I like it. I like all the little beads hanging out. And, and these little guys are messy. So have something to catch them in when you're working with them. If you're a neat freak like me, you have to have something to catch it. Oh, see how nice it looks like that pouring out really cute okay now I'm moving on to the white ones I want them a little bigger for the spoon and for the spoon what I use is uh, a glue like this you any one you want you can even use your glue gun I just don't want to wet the paper too much because it's only paper and this one's cute. It says eat dessert first. Isn't that sweet? And so you put a little bit of glue on it. And where do I get these sayings? I get them right offline. Online, I'm sorry, not offline. Uh, or you write them up yourself, things that you want to say. As sentiments, you know. And center it on your spoon as best you could. And it sticks on quick because this doesn't really weigh anything. See? And you clean it up with your finger if if it doesn't bother you. It doesn't bother me 
to get a little messy when I'm crafting. So I just do it with my finger if you want to clean it up with something else. But just clean it up while it's still wet. See how neat that looks now? I didn't wait. And so it's on there already. And now I can very quickly glue it on. I don't want the video too long. Before I glue it on, I'm going to take the seed beads. Oh, those are tiny pearls. I'm sorry, they're not seed beads. And I'm going to do like this one. You see over there? How does those little beads right there? I'm just going to put a little glue right in the bottom here and dip it in. It scoops up the ones it wants to scoop up, and you don't have to do much for it. You don't have to place one by one just by scooping in. You get all the ones you need. I got a little bit of strings, glue strings. Let me clean them up a little bit. Okay. That's done then too. See, this is pretty quick. And then I want to put on the tip of it a little flower. I'm going to my little bits of flowers. And I have a couple of different colors. And I think I'm going to go with the white one. A little dab of glue. And I'm going to stick it right up here. And I got those little flowers in Michael's. They are near the registers where the new stamps came out. And so they have a little a little bin full of them. But if you have a punch or whatever, you can cut them. You can die cut them yourself. There's a spoon. And now I'm going to rest the spoon on here. So let me measure a little bit and see exactly where. I'll actually do one side at a time. So I'm going to do the spoon bottom first. And then I'll do the spoon top. Because I really want it to stay exactly where I want to have it. So I have to measure one by one. Let that dry a second. And that's a good thing about the glue gun. It's a quick dry, right? Just holding it on. And then lift it up slowly. And just stick your gun under there a second. And put a little dab of glue. You don't want a mess. Well, I don't. <laughs> that bugs me. So I'll do it little bit by little bit. You don't have to do it two times. And any excess... Just pull it off. If you don't want to get burnt, if you're sensitive to that, when you pull it off, just get a little piece of something and pull it off. My fingers are cured already. I don't I don't feel much of any of that anymore. The burning. But that's hot. So if you're not used to it, don't burn yourself. Okay, so this is good. Now I'm gonna get a little flower. A little flower from my little flower bin, and I'm gonna put a little flower right up here. Little hot glue. Okay, so now we only have a few more things to do. I'm going to put the bow up on the top. A little bit of glue. I made the, I pre-made the bow. It's a triple bow and I used my bow maker to make it. See, three layers. Bow maker to make it. Can't, oh, here it goes find the paper. It's Decafon Ball Maker. That's the one I, I love to use. Just in case you want the info, it'll be on the bottom. The link to the website. Now let's put this pretty bow. I'm going to stick it right here. And let it rest right there. I'm also going to be attaching a flower in the center of the bow. See how pretty that looks there? So they're a little too long for my taste. I'm going to cut them a wee bit. Let me get a scissor that actually cuts. Fabric. Isn't that funny? We use them for so many things that sometimes when we want to use it for something that we need, they're already so 
so uh, used that they're not cutting. And then the only thing left to do, some of these beads in different sizes, I'm going to use them right here to fill in this little set, little piece there. And I'm going to want a pink this time, probably a cream, which is a mid-size. What I'm using is different sizes and a pink. Let me see. Yeah. Let me see if I return this one for... I didn't realize I had so many of one color and little left of the others. Okay, got three. I, I just put the glue here and just sit them there. I found it was easier for me. You do it your way. And this is just ideas. Please feel free to create, ladies. I love to see everybody's ideas. Love it. Love it, love it. And this is an inexpensive project that everyone will like. And there we go. There's our project. If you want more sea beads, then you put more in there, whatever you feel. And this is what it looks like. Thank you for watching. This was the first one that you saw in that other video. And this is the one from today. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Any questions, leave them below. Bye.